Hello everyone and welcome back to Clover Knows Pets. I'm Clover and today is a very, very exciting day, as you might have guessed by the title. Today is the day where the special package arrives and the day where you get to find out what the surprise has been. I am so freaking excited for this video and for this package. So yeah, let's get started. It literally is 4.01 a.m. and I cannot sleep. I'm so excited. They arrive at 12 p.m. and I can't wait. Alright, if they arrive here on time and I know how to read a clock prepper properly, they should be here in around six minutes. I'm so freaking excited. They should be here in three minutes. I can't wait. Two. They should be here in one minute. I can't wait. Also, everyone, this is your last chance to guess what's arriving before I show you. So feel free to guess and put your guess in the comments. I would love to see what you guys are thinking. And yeah. My dog's so confused. I never ever sit by the store. <laughs> Sitting on a white red bench. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. You know. We'll go on a walk later. Oh, you heard that word. Ditto, can you go up? Up, good, sit. Sit. Good boy. You should go puppy. Just sit with me. Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited. I really hope they made it well. I've only ever shipped a animal one one other time in the mail and it was isopods. Um, well, I didn't ship them, but, you know. It says the um, perishable and stuff on it, which is good. Everything seems good. Packing information. Oh, that's awesome. This shows a list. Alright. The thing that I have gotten are hermit crabs. Specifically, captive bred hermit crabs. These guys are some of the first in the world. It is such an honor to be able to have these guys. I am beyond excited and amazed. I'm going to be the... I, I am now the youngest person to be caring for them ever. I am also going to be the first person to be keeping them with live plants kept in the substrate, meaning a fully bioactive setup. I am so excited to explain more on that, but yeah. Alright, so this just has like a little list of care, which is awesome that they send this with their stuff. They also had me send in pictures, which is amazing. These guys are coming from Ill Exotics, which is the only shop in the world currently to sell them in store. Um, but their Hermes came from Mary Acres. Um, so yeah, it's adorable. Okay. Nice and warm, I'm feeling. freaking little things ever oh my god oh my god I am so happy oh. hey, little one What's this one oh. little tiny jade turbo shell okay um I'm gonna set these aside for a second I am so freaking glad that they arrived safely okay, okay. oh my 
my god. Oh my god, that is the cutest little thing ever. And they've already got some of their color, that's amazing. Oh my god. Hi, little guy. Bud, I still don't actually have names for these guys. If you have name suggestions, write them in the comments down below, because I don't yet have names for them. That is the tiniest little shell, oh my god. Alright, buddy. You go back in there for a second. Oh my god. I can't explain how freaking happy I am. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're so colorful for their age. That's amazing. And they're so much more active than I expected they'd be. I thought they'd be pretty stressed coming in. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know I keep saying that, I just can't believe how freaking adorable they are. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna set them aside for a second to see the uh, certificate and the uh, care guide. I'm sure it'll be uh, appropriate care guide, or at least an accurate care guide, since it is from Ill Exotics, and since um, Mary trusted her Hermes going there. Yeah, starts out with saying that they're often misunderstood and sold in, sold in souvenir shops. Awesome that they mention that. It's accurate. 30 plus years in captivity. Actually, I mean, I sa it says plus years, so that's good, but um, Jonathan Livingston Crab lived around 40-something years, I forget. Um, so I don't know why it doesn't say 40 plus, but yeah. Average lifespan, 3 to 12 years. I would say longer, because um, I have a Hermie in my care that has lived longer, and it isn't like a special case. But yeah. Up to 6 inches in diameter. Eh, yeah, I'd agree with that. At least with uh, Caribbean crabs or purple pinchers or Cenobita clypetus or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, just straight up. 10 gallons per crab. Uh, longer than high. Yep, oh, that's good. Yep, this is awesome. Great. Oh, there's more. That's awesome that they mention all of this. Ask about bioactive. That's cool. Wow. Yep. That is amazing. That's awesome that they carry that. Just got a little uh, certificate. That's awesome. These guys are undoubtedly the smallest hermit crabs I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. Well, aside from the uh, Cenobita Lila that were recently bred, I saw those guys in person at CrabCon. Caught to hold a few, but yeah. Oh my god. They're so freaking purple for their size. That's amazing. And they've already got a ton of hairs on them. Oh my god. That is amazing. Where are you going, bud? Oh my god. I could not be happier. Both came safe, both exactly as I was hoping, and they're so, so tiny. Oh my gosh. But yeah, these guys have been shipped from uh, Pen Blacksburg, Virginia to uh, Pennsylvania, and then to Minnesota. That is amazing. Because Mary is in uh, Virginia, so they had to go from her to the place. Yeah, these guys were kept in shop. They're some of the first in the world. I am so honored to have them. It is amazing. Okay, let's get them in their setup. All right, so I had bought in all of these shells at CrabCon, but now I'm thinking they might be too big. Just gonna measure their shells quickly with the digital caliper. Hi, buddy. Okay. Oh my god. Might have to do this off camera if you won't stay put. Oh my god. Okay, so this guy is exactly 0.5 inch. Let's check this girl. Alright, 0.41 inch. Let's check out some of these shells. Alright, just messaged some and these are the shells I picked out. So you may notice that I only have a few of the turbo shells and that a lot of them are D openings like these. And that is because I have been advised from some other of the keepers of these guys and also by Mary that they tend to gravitate towards these shells at a young age, which is interesting, seeing that purple pinchers are known, normally known for liking O openings. Yeah, anyways, if you're looking to know how to um, check with something like this, you're going to put from this tip right there all the way across to the largest size. Hard to do this not looking at it. Here we go. And then that's the size. All right, kind of shut, set the shells under there. All right, there we go. Just put them all face up. Put this back over there. Okay, so reference in comparison to the captive bred babies, this is my 
smallest Hermie, or at least the smallest Hermie currently in my care, and the smallest I've ever seen aside from the captive bred babies. This is Midnight, she's the uh, tiny ambassador crab at the rescue. And this here is one of the captive bred babies. The size comparison, that is insane. Oh my god. Okay, I know, but just one more comparison real quick. This is one of our larger ambassador crabs who does not yet have a name. In comparison to the little babies. Look at that size difference, that is insane. Oh my god. That is crazy. Okay, I gotta stop messing with them and actually set them in the tank now. Oh my god. So this is a really small tank. This is only a 10 gallon and they look so tiny. Oh my gosh. That is the sweetest thing ever. Oh my god. Okay, other one. Here you go, bud. Sit here by your friend. Of course, I can't know for sure, but seeing that these guys were the only ones in stock, I'm assuming that they were being kept in the same tank setup, obviously. Oh my god. I can't believe they're actually here. I am so happy. So obviously these guys will not be up for adoption. They will be the ambassador crabs or with the others. Uh, and they will eventually, once I can be confident that they are um, able to like live and exist, uh, with their size in a larger setup, they will move into a new setup that I'm going to be doing pretty soon here. It will be two 75-gallon enclosures topped with a 50-gallon to connect the two. One of the enclosures will have their water dishes, which will be 5-gallon water pools. Or, well, 5-gallon aquariums, technically. And then the other side will be fully bioactive. And it, of course, will have the Hermes in mind, keeping all of the plants safe for them and such. But it's not going to be set up as if it was made specifically for hermit crabs, but instead just as a awesome show tank. That happens to be kept at 80 degrees Fahrenheit with 80% humidity and all safe plants. <laughs> but yeah. That's how they will be kept in the future, and they will be the first Hermes, first captive bred Hermes to be kept in a tank with plants planted directly into the soil instead of put in pots. So that should be pretty cool. I'm excited to see how they react to isopods and stuff, especially because of their size. I am beyond excited and honored to have these guys. So yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.